If you struggle with tracking your leads and feel lost when it comes to interacting with your clients, then keep watching. What is user tracking? It's gathering data about users' behavior, preferences, and actions to gain insights into their interests, engagement patterns, and conversion paths. This way, you can personalize their experience with your brand and make sure that they're satisfied. Sounds pretty cool, right? Now let's see how you can do it. So hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and let's get started. In this video, we will explore five different ways to track your audience. And the first way is to use the URL parameters. URL parameters are like little notes attached to a website's web address that can tell you useful information for your marketing. And you can capture this info in the URL inside your form. Imagine it like the form asking for specific information based on what's written in the web address. So if the web address says this, the form can automatically fill in the name field with Lisa to save you time. To make it happen, edit your form and click the field that should capture the URL's information, for example, this name field. Then set an ID for the field, let's say name as its ID. Alright, now save changes and open the forms view. Remember that you should set the URL parameters manually and as your requirements. Here, we want to populate the name field, so let's add a question mark at the end of our address and type in name equals Lisa. In the URLs, Everything after the question mark is considered as a parameter and doesn't affect the URL you're opening. Your page opens with or without the parameters. We add the URL parameters to capture extra information about the user who's opening it. Okay, now let's capture another parameter to see where the user is coming from. Let's say we want to share the form's URL on Facebook and Twitter, and we want to see which social platform the user is coming from when they submit the form. To do so, we create two separate URLs, one URL for sharing on Facebook and one for sharing on Twitter. You can add a new parameter to a URL by adding an end sign to the end and typing the next URL. So for Facebook, your URL will look like this. Okay, great, now let's capture the source info from the URL parameter. Head back to the form editor and add a new hidden field. Let's call it submitter source and add an ID for it, for example, source. Make sure the field's ID is identical to the URL parameter so it can capture the parameter's value. Great, now when the user clicks your link from Facebook and submit your form, the form will automatically capture the URL parameter's value and save it in your hidden field. So when you check the user's response in the responses table, you will see that information as well. Cool, now for the second way, Formula has a referred address field, the form's responses that shows where the user submitted the form. This way, if you let's say embedded your form in different web pages and shared it on social media, this field would now show you the data. And to check the referred address, let's go to our dashboard and click on your Formula to open the response table. Here you can find the referred address field at the end of your response columns. So now the third way to go is to integrate Google Analytics. Google Analytics is one of the most common ways to go when it comes to user tracking. It's a popular tracking tool that can help you analyze the search traffic that arrives at your website and you can use it to separate the traffic according to its origin. You can easily add your Google Analytics tracking codes to any of your formulas to track visitor behavior and demographics. I left a link in the description below for an in-depth tutorial on how you can do this, so make sure to check it out. The fourth way to do this is to integrate heat map tools. And what are heat maps? Heat maps basically help you identify the most used parts of your form or a web page. These areas are where people tap the most on the screen because they like them the most. Hotjar is one of the popular heat map tools and you can easily integrate it into your formulas. All you have to do is to copy the code your tool provides and paste it into the custom JS box on your form. To find the custom JS box, you should edit your form and click on the settings tab. And you can find it here at the bottom of the settings option. Also, here's a list of tips and tricks for you to improve your user tracking strategy strategies. Define your tracking goals. Prioritize user privacy and comply with data protection regulations. Implement event tracking to capture specific user actions. Conduct A-B testing to compare different website versions or elements. Regularly review and analyze data for insights and optimization. And that's it for today. To summarize, user data is crucial. No matter how we promote our websites, we all need it. And realizing that you have missed out on sales or profits can be one of the worst feelings. It can happen when the forms are not optimized or customers are not guided through the buying process. And create your own strategies for tracking website performance. Put the user first by using the tools in this video. Sign up at Formulu for free and start building your marketing campaigns in one place. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe and share with your friends. Happy Formuluing!